Hello and welcome to this third video where I'm going to be looking at some uh, yet more tools that we've managed to pick up from Audi and Lidl. Although this video is going to be more heavily Lidl's based as most of the stuff you're going to see has come from there. First item I'm going to be showing you today I managed to pick up is this little toolbox. This really is a quite a good item for modellers as we have quite a lot of small um, tools laying around, uh, files, pliers, things like that. And this comes uh, moulded in this black plastic with a red inner tray. It's quite a lot of space really for a modelling tool set with screwdrivers etc. They all fit in, they seem to fit in there quite nicely and then you obviously your pliers and that can go underneath. So um, yeah, it's uh, £3.50 this was, or £3.49, so you really can't go wrong. It's quite a uh, sturdy and robust piece of kit. Any uh, modeller that's um, got tools, it's worth having these better than uh, having them lying around on your workbench. There's a good clip there and a carry handle. I've got plenty of toolboxes. I've got one full of paint and one with the tools in. So what I'm going to do at the end of this video, I'm going to give you details on how you can get your hands on this very toolbox. I'm going to do a giveaway and I'm going to be uh, giving this toolbox away, but I'll more details on that at the end of the video. Um, right, next up, again from Lidl's, is this Parkside bit set that I picked up for the screwdriver sets in it. So... Let's just open this up and have a look what we get inside. So apologies for the uh, bell noise in the background, but I don't mind it. It's quite relaxing, to be fair. So these bits come in this handy plastic um, container, which unclips yet more cellar tape, so just bear with me. And you get the the driver there. There's various different sizes. Um, that one there could be used for modelling um, certain locos. I got it because of these star um, connectors that uh, and this tiny these tiny screws. Because um, some models I've got, um, especially not rare models, are put together with these sort of star connectors. So uh, I can't remember how much I paid for that. I think it was about four pounds. But it comes in this sturdy plastic case and obviously with the, the bit and the handle as I just showed you in there, it all connects nicely and uh, yeah, so that's another good uh, good product. I don't know, oh that's an extension, uh, extension ram there. So yeah, all those different bits in there. That uh, ties in neatly with the next thing I'm going to be showing which actually comes from Aldi which is this ratchet handle, and again, it's a screwdriver bit set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the uh, cut the cable tie off there, that secures it in place, which is common with Audi products. And uh, we've got yet more tape to go through on the back. Again, in its, <laughs> there we go. Nice uh, plastic container. And again, there's some, these are duplicates of these, but um, I haven't got anything else from Audi to show. So uh, I thought I'd get one of these um, in case your Audi is local. And I think this was a fiver. So again, there are some small, uh, small there. I mean, it may be too big for modelling uh, double O railways, but with the extension piece there, it's like a ratchet handle. That could come in quite handy, especially, um, especially for particularly tight screws so um yeah i thought that was quite good value that's why i picked it up just to show on the video something from aldi because I, I don't often go to aldi because it's not one local to me but yeah another ratchet handle and screwdriver bit set if there's an aldi local to you could be handy for your modeling toolbox so yeah not too bad a set of those two next up i've got this parkside cordless light now to save me saying it's from Lidl all the time, anything with Parkside on is uh, Lidl. So uh, I'm open this up and have a look. I thought this would be handy to have um, from a modelling point of view. 
because if I'm doing close-up work, I know it's meant for cars, but if I'm doing close-up work on the bench, then um, I do need a light sometimes. Jesus. Now that is really quite bright. I mean, I've not charged that yet, but look at that. Um, it's got a magnetic base on it. Apologies, I'll just turn that off. So using the magnetic... Um, using the magnetic strips I showed in a previous video from also from Lidl's if I just clear that off I can have that sat on there well as he says once he's tightened it up have that sat on there and then have a additional light in my work area so if I was working on a model like this or indeed for filming yeah, that lights that up quite well so uh, cats out the bag there anybody that watches trash to track future loco coming up soon so yeah i'll just move the camera down again yeah cordless light from it's got it's dimmable various various brightnesses on there and again, it's rechargeable with a USB lead, just as the um, power tool, uh, multi-tool was we looked at last time. And it all folds away nicely like that. That, I think, was about £8, I think, that was. But I thought for uh, for working on the modelling bench, especially if all you need to do, I think, as well, is let me just test it if I can see a screw... It will stick to screws on the on the railway so you could put a couple of screws in your workbench and it will stand up you know quite nicely and you can work on work on your models using that so yeah i'm pleased with that i'll get a lot of use out of that because sometimes in the winter working on the working in the workbench um working in the workshop here the led lights sometimes aren't good enough so and then obviously you get the uh, obligatory instructions there but yeah parkside cordless light magnetic base also comes with a uh, three-year warranty so well worth the 7.99 i paid for that that will come in handy for uh, future projects especially now the darker nights are drawing in so yeah i'm happy with that right next up i think we're whizzing through these a little bit at the moment Next up, I've got some precision screwdriver sets. Now, these I did buy specifically with modelers in mind because I uh, couldn't see on the packet the head size of these screwdrivers. So I thought I'd give them a go. They, are, they do like their sellotape, the uh, Parkside people. But, oh, yes, look at those. I can instantly see with the damn sellotape I can instantly see looking in there that these are going to come in brilliant these are going to be really handy I mean look at the size that is tiny that is ideal for trains model trains model cars now there's never an engine around when I need one what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Triang 31 I've got on the workbench so as a source of spares. And I'm going to use this small flat bladed screw. Look, you can get it in there. Oh, look at that. That is excellent. Now, you can hold the tip and rotate the screwdriver to uh, exert more force on it. So, just to prove that that screw's come out of there all right. There we go. Look, so that's awesome they are really good and again like i said with the bit set um just tighten that up and again like i said with the bit set you've got your common flat end and phillips screw ends and you've also got some star ends of various sizes and also a couple of hexagonal ends there as well they are really good. I'm happy with them. They are 
they were eight pounds that set i'll just give you a close-up of the of nibs there or the drivers should i say yeah that is a really really nice set and it's again very sturdy very nice um carry case for them all what i'm going to do as well um when i was in Lidl's, I purchased two of these, so I'm also going to give away a packet of these. I have a packet under here, just to prove that I've not, they have not opened, they are still sealed. I'll give you details about how to win these at the end as well. There'll be two separate competitions, so you could either win these or the um, toolbox that I showed you earlier. But these, these are excellent. I'm really glad I bought two sets now to give one away because... Uh, I didn't know they were going to be that good, to be honest. I had my doubts about that. But yeah, Parkside Lidl Precision Screwdriver Set. Magnetic tip and a practical hanging loop. Practical hanging loop? I'm not sure what they mean by that. There wasn't a loop on there, but there we go. Next up, I'm going to be looking at these. Again, Parkside Range. This is a clamp set of different clamps now. I have a couple of the big clamps that I use. I've also got a little, um, a lot of the littler, smaller clamps that I use for various things, um, soldering when I'm building card kits, plastic kits. So let's take a look in here and see what these are like. In fact, I'm gonna rip that off there because these will be going into the, these will be going into the cupboard once I've finished this video. So again, one thing I do like about the Parkside range is everything you get from the Parkside range comes in really nice, sturdy plastic containers that are easy stackable and they're quite durable. I mean, I've had some Parkside stuff for years and it's still in the same container. Oh, look at those. Now that is quite a nice looking set. We've got some metal G clamps there. They're quite handy to have. I've used them for various things, clamping brass to the workbench when soldering and things like that. There's three different sizes. You've got 75 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and 25 millimeter. Right, and we've also got some of these. Oh, I can get them out there. They're in there quite tight. Some of these smaller clips. Whoops. Ouch. Be careful, the spring in them is really strong. But yeah, they are. They're handy to have, like I said, for clamping bits together, balsa wood, plastic, brass, things like that. I have used these for soldering. If you're not too uh, keen with the heat, don't get the soldering iron next to them. They can be used to hold brass together. Then just move the camera slightly. We've also got these clamps that they can also hold modelling bits together when you're kit building or scratch building. I think this retailed about nine pounds. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, fifteen clamps, and a uh, cutting uh, jig in the middle there. I think that is. Yeah, so they're quite handy to have. All my clamps at the moment are loose in the toolbox, but I might um, retire those and keep this nice set in here because some of my older clamps that I've had for many years have lost their gripping uh, gripping teeth on there. So. Yeah, another good buy from Lidl's, another good find, and as I said, nice sturdy, nice sturdy box, easy to stack in the tool cupboard. The next item I got was this cordless screwdriver. So let's just snip the uh, paper tie off there. The reason I bought this is for I'm forever using my cordless drill as a screwdriver. But this has come with um, a cutting attachment, an angle screw attachment, offset angle attachment and a torque attachment. And it's got, uh, it's a 60 minute charge time. So uh, maximum torque of 10 Newton meters. So that will mean something to somebody. And fortunately I'm not very engineering minded. So again, look, as you can see, nice sturdy parkside case there that's quite a nice little set with all the different attachments in i don't know if we've got any charge in it i should have oh yeah and it's got an led light there so you can you get three of these 
with various bits on. Not that we've uh, had many bits to look at in this uh, episode. That's all it seems to have been so far. So let's have a look at this. It seems okay. Let's see that screw I've got that in the layout there. Let's see if I can... Oh yeah, it's bringing that out. I, mean, I won't bring it out all the way because I don't know what that's supporting under there. But well, that's, no, that's actually driven that further into the wood than the drill did. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. I've got to work out how you attach this now. Maybe if uh, oh, maybe if I read this extensive instruction manual. then uh, I might find out but what I might do is um, shortly I've got another video coming out a longevity test of the soldering iron and multi-tool so I might wait and give this a longevity test as well just let you guys know how I get on with it stop using my cordless drill and uh, start using this instead just to see how um, how I get on with it you've got all sorts of that's the torque that's the torque setting, the offset screwdriver setting, and the angled screwdriver setting, as well as, again, the ubiquitous USB charging point. So, yeah, overall, that's not a bad set. I th think that was about 15 quid, I think, 14.99. But I'm going to do a longevity test on that. As I said, watch out soon. In the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing a video on the soldering iron and the multi-tool that I did. See how I've got on with them over the past few months. Um, I haven't used my Dremel. Um, well, that's a lie. I've used my Dremel once in that time, but only when the Parkside one was charging up. So, uh, yeah, that's um, that's not a bad little set, that ain't. Four-volt cordless screwdriver set. Right, the final item we've got today is something a little different. Is a hot glue gun. Again, part of the Parkside one. And let's have a look at this. I've had this for quite some time and uh, I meant to put it in the, both the first and the second videos and totally forgot. So I've had it laying on my bench for a couple of weeks so that I don't forget this time to, uh, to show you guys it. Funnily enough, I bought this six or six months ago or so, but they've actually just bought these back out. Last time I was in Lidl's, these were back in there. Right. Again, I know I've said it three times, another good sturdy plastic parkside case with the metal clips and inside we've got a corded glue gun with a stand and three glue sticks i'm not going to fire this up in this video now but, but what i will do is i will show the um I will show this in action in a future video because at the moment I don't actually have anything to glue. So, But you put the glue stick in like that. There's a handy stand there. That is actually the charging base by the look of it. Like that. And there you go. So it sits on the base and the power lead goes in the back there to power it and charge it up. So yeah, that's actually quite a good thing. And like I said, that might come in handy for doing scenery on the layout. For uh, I've got a lot more scenic work to do. At the moment, I use uh, copious amounts of impact adhesive, Evo stick, things like that. But I may give this a go, hot glue gun, especially if it's going to be uh, you're going to be able to take it off and go around the layout, gluing certain bits together. I mean, the nozzle is relatively small. If you compare that to say the nozzle on the Evo stick I normally use. Yeah, it's like half the size, which will come in handy, I think. Again, I'm really pleased with that. I'll give that a go. And again, like the uh, cordless screwdriver, the hot glue gun cordless screwdriver, I'll do in their own separate video. Um, the soldering iron multi tool, I'll do in their own video. So, uh, yeah, I'll use that over the winter months when I'm doing some scenery and see how I get on with that. Right, so that brings us to the uh, end of the video almost now. We've had a look at the uh, glue gun, screwdrivers, clamp set, screwdriver set, um, the 
bit sets and the light. I really do like that light. That's a good uh, light. The magnetic tray that's going to come in the handy. Um, right. So I said at the start of the video, I've got a couple of things now. First of all, this toolbox, this uh, Parkside toolbox. And I'll just give you another glimpse inside there with the tray, a removable um, removable shelf unit there. If you would like to win this, if you would like to win this um, toolbox, all you have to do is go into the comments below, like the video, and comment the word toolbox. What I'll do is, on Saturday the 8th of October, at 8 o'clock in the evening, UK time, I will do a live stream, and we will randomly pick a comment with the word toolbox in it. And then once that's drawn, the people, um, the person who wins it can email me at dansmodelrailways at gmail.com, and I can arrange uh, getting it sent out to you the following week. I'll pay for the postage, it's absolutely free. All you have to do is comment the word toolbox um, and we'll go from there and see who wins it. Secondly, as I said, precision screwdriver set. As you saw before on the set I opened earlier in the video, a very nice set of screwdrivers. Very nice. They will probably replace some of my older ones that I've had for years. Um, this set is still sealed, still sealed up as I got it from Middles. Again, I will draw this on the 8th of October. It will be done in the same drawer. And all you have to um, comment, comment the word screwdriver. Just as you see it there, capital S, screwdriver. Oh, I should mention on the toolbox one, capital T for toolbox. So comment screwdriver to win the screwdriver set. Comment toolbox to win the toolbox. They are two separate giveaways. If by some fluke on the random comment generator, the same person wins both, I will be redrawing the uh, comments so that we have two separate winners. And again, email me at dansmodelrailways at gmail.com um, if you are lucky enough to win the screwdriver set, and I'll get this sent out of you um, absolutely free of charge. I'll pay for the postage. I'll wrap it up and get it sent out the following week. That's Saturday, the 8th of October. Saturday, the 8th of October, 8 o'clock. And unfortunately, due to the high postage charges, etc., this competition is only open to members and uh, people watching in the UK. It will just be cost prohibitive to send either of these abroad. It would just cost too much money, and, and I'm not willing to do that. I'm willing to send it to the UK, but I'm not sending it abroad, as it would cost an unfathomable amount of money at the moment. So UK residents only, I'm afraid. But if you want to win the screwdrivers, comment screwdriver. If you want to win the toolbox, comment toolbox. And Saturday the 8th of October, 8pm um, UK time, I will do a live draw on YouTube and we will get some winners. So, with that being said, thanks again for watching the uh, another tool review, modelling tool review video I've done from... Well, mainly Lidl this time. I mean, that's from Aldi, but mainly Lidl because Lidl is local to me. Please like the video, share and subscribe. Don't forget to comment, toolbox or screwdriver, but you must like the video as well. Um, and then I will do the giveaway on the 8th of October. So I will see you all then live at my computer in the house. Until then, take care of yourself and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. And the bells are started again. <laughs> right. Putting bits together when you kit building or scratch building. Um, I think I think this kit cost. I don't know what that is. What is that? Nope. Right. <laughs> right. Come on, Dan, get your act together. The charging base by the look of it. So I'll sort that out in a moment. Do not pull the glue out. Oh, I'm pleased I'm I've pleased seen that now. I've put it in it. <laughs> but that's all right. It will sit on the bench now on its stand. Yeah. So we'll put that back.